welcome back to the to the Pulse. Uh, if you forgot who I was, which I don't know how you could possibly, I'm Taj Middleton, Director of Volunteer Services, and Monica has released the room to me for a minute so that I might talk to Aline about uh, KZME. Aline Smith, welcome to the Pulse. Thanks for having me, and thanks for giving me my very own mug. I'm thrilled. <laughs> can yes. I, can I try it? Oh can yes, please do. It's Metro East's finest mm, water. That's good. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> so you are hostess of Stump Town Thump Down. Very good. You and got it right. <laughs> I know, well, you know, it's one of those things. Say it like five times fast. <laughs> totally. And well, it, you know, my name, you can't pronounce my name, so why should you be able to pronounce my show? That's, you know, it's one of those, those simple names that are really hard for people for some reason. It's just so unique. But you've got That's it down. That's what that is. Good. Um, but your show, Stumptown Thump Down, airs on Thursday evenings from 8 to 10. Correct. On KZME Radio, 1071 FM. Music, music where, where you live. live. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so what kind of music do you play on Stumptown Thump Down? So basically the only, the, the only um, requirement for getting on my show is it has to be a Portland artist. Mm -hmm. So I'm not concerned with the genre. I try to play a smattering from all the genres. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're not from Portland, it's not going to play you. Oh, so you're like exclusive. I'm cutthroat. <laughs> I mean, I've heard some great stuff. And then I check at the artist. I'm like, Vancouver, <laughs> Corvallis, <laughs> 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 Portland only. And on top of your hosting um, gig, because that's a, that's a lot of work, hosting a show and kind of producing it, setting up your interviews, getting your playlist together, but yeah. you're also the volunteer music director. Tell us about that. Yeah, so that's um, a pretty fun gig. I've only been doing it for a few months now, but mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying it. So basically I am uh, accepting the music submissions, mm -hmm. reviewing them, mm -hmm. uh, kind of, piecemealing them out to volunteer screeners to help us get through them and mm -hmm. then transferring them and uploading them into rotation. So I'm the one putting the new music in the system. And that's and you're taking over for James Deneen, who was our music director for since we moved into that space. Right. How like how many so are you just loading songs and songs and songs a week? There's a lot of music that comes through KZME. For sure. And granted, James had some huge shoes to fill. So I Oh yeah. <laughs> he was like the I'm, he's like, oh, 500 songs today. And I'm like, how? Yeah. <laughs> Totally. I am not I am not on the same pace as he was with <laughs> uploading music, but you know, I try to get in anywhere from 10 to 20 new albums wow, a week. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot of music. And it always amazes me because there's always more coming in. And I'm like, really, is this all from Portland? Like, the, everybody must be making music here because we, you go into uh, KZME and that new music bin is like overflowing. Oh my God. And there's stuff like waiting in the wings to be screened. I mean, there's so much music here. It's insane. Yeah, I feel like if you, when I walk into the station, oftentimes and I see the bin, I uh, like, I think of Chuck E. Cheese, the ball thing, yeah. you know, like I could just be drowning <laughs> in the <this. laughs> just, just dive in. Everywhere. So in addition to music, I mean, KZME kind of just supports arts period in the community. And um, we partner with a lot of different groups um, by way of media sponsorships. So Triangle Productions, we're sponsoring their 2013, 2014 season. Mm -hmm. um, and they've actually got a play starting, I want to say, um, March 3rd, I believe, but you can get all this information on uh, at on KZME's website at 1071fm.org and you That's click cool. on that events button. But uh, yeah, Triangle Productions, great playhouse. Um, Alhambra Theater, Mississippi Studios, we sponsor one show there a month, I believe. Mm -hmm. And Portland Art Spark, which is a great kind of just meet and mingle for different artists and art collectives in the community. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that KZME kind of has its hands in. And again, you know, if folks want to check those out, they can go to 1071fm.org. Click on that bloop events, events button. button. Exactly. Oh my God, we're totally <laughs> finishing each other's sentences right now. It's not like I never <laughs> say that on air. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been programmed. Denise has us programmed. Oh, yeah. Um, also, KZME events. 
always last Fridays at Ford Food and Drink. And Ford Food and Drink is where we also have some of our volunteer appreciation dinners, especially like after our fun drives They're and stuff. Awesome. Um, but go hear some live music and, and just kind of hang out, support KZME. Mm -hmm. um, second Saturdays at Kelly's Olympian also happens at K, uh, uh, is a KZME event. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's Kelly's Olympian. And um, then we just also have our regular orientations. Right, which are super exciting. You came to orientation once so I know. long ago. How long have you been on the air at this point? Oh my gosh. I feel like we had a summer together. Yeah, I feel like it's <laughs> been about a year now that I've been wow, on the air. That's mm -hmm. crazy. I know. And as I was talking to Monica, the schedule is just, feel like Denise called me, she said, yeah. we can't do any more two hour time slots. Yeah. It's, it's insane. Yeah. There's so many new volunteers. It's, the volunteers are just blowing up at the yeah. station. And it's awesome because they're bringing in a lot of new energy and yeah. ideas. And I love it. Yeah. So um, you've been here for a year and going on a year. Like I said, I, I remember having a summer with you before. So yeah. we're coming up on your year anniversary here soon. Mm -hmm. So happy early anniversary. Um, but for those folks out there that are like listening and they're like, oh my God, I want to get involved. They can come to orientations. We have orientations quarterly. So our next orientation is going to be April 10th at 7 p.m. And that's actually going to be here at the television station. Did you come to orientation at the television station? Or were you one of the few? That was when was our orientations were smaller. Yeah. And we could all squeeze into the radio station. Yeah. But now we have to have them here at the television station because they're bigger, which right. is a great thing, great place to be in. And do you mind if I add, just for anyone oh, yeah, who yeah. might be interested, you know, even if they have no experience mm -hmm. in radio, they should check it out because the one thing that KZME is great at is training folks, even if it's from ground zero. Like I came into this with zero yeah. experience. Um, and it's a really unique opportunity. And we get a, we do get a great mix of volunteers that did a little bit of college radio. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are like over overly seasoned, like James Deneen just kind of like was radio through and through. Yeah. Um, and then we have those in the middle. And yeah, everybody comes in with their different skill sets. And like you said, their different interests. And it just makes a nice little gumbo. It's like a pot of gumbo, all kinds of flavors and spices mm -hmm. in there. Um, just making the music on the air just pop. Always hear something new on KZME. That's why I love it. Something import very important is coming up. Uh, two really big events coming up for KZME. The first one is happening in March, and that is Burgerville. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever been to a Burgerville night, uh, KZME night at Burgerville, um, you know, that I usually take that moment to have my mocha shake <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy some great music. And uh, March 21st, um, it's going to be from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And it's going to be Americana night. So that's going to be a nice evening of music. And uh, part of the proceeds from all food sales will go to KZME Radio. Absolutely. And it's one of those things that, in my opinion, helps to keep Portland weird. You know, I mean, where else can you walk into a fast food joint and there's, a, there's full a full band, band like rocking out? They're just like right there with Scoot the Tables and they're right there. When I told my dad that, he was like, what? I was like, yeah, like imagine walking into, you know, any fast food joint in L.A. and there's a band just rocking out. And that's what we're able to do at Burgerville. And it's a great chance to come out and because everybody's got to eat, right? Come yeah. out, get yourself some food, listen to some music, and support KZME at the same time. So that's going to be March 21st from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., and that's Burgerville on Hawthorne. You got it. Yes. Um, and then the last thing is actually is um, our fun drive, and that happens April 21st through the 30th. Is it already here? It is. <laughs> it is. It's like we just finished one, right? <laughs> But KZME, you know, you got to keep the lights on, we right? Need the money. Yeah, so you've participated in Fun Drive before. Can you tell the public <clears throat> about that? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, you know, it's our moment to come to the public and ask for support. You know, we're commercial free, community radio, nonprofit radio, mm -hmm. so we need that community support. Mm -hmm. And um, I know a lot of times when we have a fun drive, we try to have specific goals mm -hmm. um, that that money can help us reach. Yeah. And so that's nice because it gives folks, you know, a real 
tangible thing to reach yeah. towards. Um, and then of course, during Fun Drive, we have a generous donor who matches all of our gifts. And of course, then they're also tax deductible and all of that fun stuff. Yeah, but it's, it's like a win-win. Yeah, it is, and it's a great time to give because any donation is magically doubled. So yeah, yeah, and so that's again, that's happening April twenty-first through the thirtieth, and um, you can, of course, anytime you want mm -hmm. to, whether you wake up tonight or tomorrow morning at three a.m. and you want to give to Casey and me, please be my guest. But. <laughs> That's but right. uh, during it. Uh, during the pledge drive or uh, fund drive rather between April 21st and the 30th, more than likely it is going to be matched. So if you donate at that time, it's going to be matched, and it is of course tax deductible, mm -hmm. and um, all of that money goes to keeping the lights on because as as awesome as you are and as much as we want to pay you, we can't. It's true. It wouldn't be community public radio if we did. <laughs> That's right. So, I do it out of the goodness of my heart because I love it, and because you love it totally. Um, so we are going to have to wrap this up. I could talk forever because I too. love KZME and I love music and you're so fun to talk to. <laughs> um, but so thank you so much for coming in, Aline. Absolutely. And um, when is your show? Stumptown, Thump Down? Thursdays, 8 to 10 p.m. On KZME Radio, 1071 FM. Music, where you live. What? Um, you know what? On the television side of things, we are revamping our classes here, and we're just, well, you know, we did all of our HD upgrades, and with those upgrades comes new classes and all that kind of stuff. So we've actually got our own Peter G, who is going to uh, kind of tell us what those classes are starting to look like. So we're gonna cut to that clip here. So thank cool. you so much again for coming in to talk with us. Not a problem, it's my pleasure. And uh, we're gonna go to that clip. All right, Taj. Hi there, I'm Peter G and this is the training update. So we've made some changes here at Metro East for 2014. For starters, Studio B has been upgraded to high definition. We now have a TriCaster computer in here so you can run a show with as few as two people. Add some neat chroma key to your production, maybe even a live set, and walk out of the door with a finished Blu-ray copy of your show. We're also making changes to our training curriculum here at Metro East. What used to be our basic studio class is now divided into two parts, basic camera and basic control room. So, basic camera is actually a really great way to start out learning it is a skill that you can pick up fairly quickly in a shorter class and immediately start volunteering on other people's shows. Then, go through our basic control room class. You'll learn how to work behind the scenes in both Studio A and B and be certified for both at the conclusion of that class. One more thing, we now have pocket-sized Kodak cameras in the equipment room for you to check out. All you need to do to get one is take our orientation class, which is free. These are high definition, they're very small form factor, so it's easy to take it to an event and not have to worry about lugging around a large professional camera. So check one out, you'll be hooked. For more training news, be sure to check out current blog posts on our website, metroeast.org. You can also become a fan of our Facebook page or subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching Training Update. What local community media is to us is literally our lifeline to what's going on in the lives around us. The absolute most important thing that happens in your neighborhood. People's local communities are usually what's most important to them. Because we're the faces, the smiles, the peoples, and the personalities of the community. To not only give people a voice, but to have their voice heard.